I grew up riding a motorcycle and I'm passionate about motorcycles. Uh, but oftentimes they're tricky cases and they're tricky because the wreck report is oftentimes wrong. Uh, very often in a, in a wreck involving a motorcycle, the driver of the motorcycle is unable to talk at the scene. He's either hurt so bad or he's been life flighted from the scene or taken by ambulance from the scene and the police get a one-sided story. And that story usually is the driver of the car who pulled out in front of the motorcycle says, I looked, I didn't see him, he must have been flying. And oftentimes the police will write down that the driver of the motorcycle was traveling at a very high rate of speed. Uh, even though the car uh, didn't even see him, they just sort of speculate on that. Uh, also, I think they're difficult cases and can be tricky cases uh, because the public's prejudiced against motorcyclists. Uh, they think anyone who rides a motorcycle is a daredevil or a, or a racer or a speeder. Um, and lastly, the injuries are usually so bad it takes uh, a lot of work to get enough money to take care of uh, the injuries that the motorcycle rider has. Probably I'm the most proud uh, of all my cases over the 20 four years plus I've been doing this is a motorcycle case that had been turned down by two lawyers. Uh, my client was riding his motorcycle down a country road and a van pulled out from a stop sign in front of him and hit him. The police wrote that my guy was doing 100 miles an hour. Of course, he never talked to the cops. He was life flighted from the scene. He had very serious injuries. And we took that case and we resolved it after two years of hard, hard work. Uh, the first settlement offer was a seven-figure offer. That's how good of a job we did uh, proving that my client was driving about 27 miles an hour when he, was, when he was hit. And so we were able to get this young man enough money to take care of not only his half a million plus uh, dollars in medical bills, but to take care of him for the rest of his life. He'll never work again. He'll never use his left arm. Uh, he'll never be able to read and write at a high-functioning level. Uh, he had a pretty serious brain injury. So those are the type of cases where when you work hard and you investigate hard and you do your job thoroughly, you can really impact uh, a, a client's life. If you have a motorcycle case and you've been turned down by other lawyers or perhaps the, co the police officers wrote the report up against you, don't give up. Give me a call. Let me look at it. I may not be able to help you, and I'll tell you straight up if I can't, but I might be able to.